Hey my beautiful Scorpios, it's Kim Enchantress here to do your music reading November 2024. Welcome back to the channel. It's time to invest in your creativity this month. We've got Mars moving into Leo in November and it's going to be a right time for you to nurture that imagination. New ideas and new music. Midway we have the Beaver Moon which will illuminate in the sky. Now with a new moon transiting taking place in your sign November 1 we have you know expect to feel more like yourself this month Scorpio this uh, well you know this is definitely a good thing don't be surprised if your newfound self-confidence disturbs people around you your musician friends especially and allow changes to unfold and be forthcoming about your needs Okay, you are the sign most likely to be re-evaluating re partnerships in romance and business this month. Now I'm going to kick off with a music oracle and we're going to look at your muse for the month of November. It is a passed on musician or one that is still alive today with a message for you for the month of November. What do we have for our beautiful scorpions, please spirit? Beautiful Scorpio musicians, what message do you have this month? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we have Patty Smith. Jesus died for somebody's sins, but not yours. Learn to make peace with eternal dissatisfaction. The most powerful form of rebellion is of the spirit. So I think this is the lady that had big hit back in the 80s with because the night belongs to lovers let's see what other message uh, messages that patty smith has for you I, I believe she's still alive today so let's see okay so first message is a profound message will reach you okay you can have what you wish for just stay positive Go within and be still. Any more messages? No, it's finished. Okay, we'll go on to the Lenormand card messages and I've chosen the Significator card as the moon. As always, it is my artist card. Artists of all kinds, musicians, painters. Um, it could be a blogger even. You may work in a music department, you may be managing bands, you may be an agent, you could be a DJ, you may uh, do art cover work for albums. Uh, you get the, the gist of it all. Um, so anything to do with music. So let's see what we've got with the Lenormand cards. Please, Spirit. Thank you. Okay, first one out we have the snake, so Scorpio energy, and this could uh, be a woman um, in your music. As I said, that um, relationships are going to take place this month for you. Um, partnerships, reevaluating, reevaluating partnerships. So this one, who a person who could have um, betrayed your emotions in some way. We're just having unpleasant feelings about this person. We have the house. So the house is uh, basically you feeling connected with a family. So maybe this person's making you have unpleasant feelings. You know, these are your chosen family in your music. Anything else? Okay. So next one out was the book now the book can represent that you have secret feelings for this person perhaps you know uh, you have a lot of emotional intelligence here Scorpio so uh, you know this could represent a Pisces person also but this person may be betraying your emotions in some way you've got the scythe and the scythe can represent that you've got hurt feelings about this person Maybe you've cut off your feelings towards this person. We have the key. The key is all about 
you having that gut feeling or an important sign about this person. So maybe she is important to you. Maybe you, she's been cut out of the, uh, the music family. But secrets will be revealed, I'm feeling, this month. Let's have a look at the uh, wisdom of hidden realms. And this may reveal that secret that we're looking for. You need to go within, remember. And remember, you've got a profound message coming to you this month. Okay, that one's turned sideways. We have the word Lord. Communication, praise and dishonesty. Okay, so someone's been dishonest towards you in your music. Let's see what that is. So the word Lord. Let's see. Okay, the word Lord rules communication of all kinds and lets you know that positive interactions can be expected when he arrives at your as your ally. He only speaks with positive words and praises all he sees. He reminds you of the laws of abundance and praise. When you bless the world, it blesses you back. When you say affirming supportive words they carry an energy that returns to you in physical term remember that each one has power and will resonate into the universe seeking its reflection in manifest form your body responds to praise as does everything in the world around you praise it for it is inherent health and beauty applaud yourself for everything you do as even the tiniest accomplishments are important Praise your bills, give thanks for the services you enjoy and watch the ability to pay them increase as you align with spirits increasing power. This is also a time to remember the power of full practice of affirmation. Write them down and speak them aloud as a spiritual exercise. Say it is so and it will be. It's a very auspicious sign when the world Lord chooses to be your ally. So maybe this is you writing them down in this book here. So it's a time to go within, reflect, and uh, choose your words widely, uh, wisely this month here, Scorpio. Um, you know, this is about speaking the truth. Don't be too harsh on your words towards this person uh, because know they are very important to you. You will get a profound message. Once you go within and be still and know that you can have what you wish for if you have this positive affirmation. Love to you all. Bye for now.